Welcome, everyone. Bobby D here. Yes, press release, I guess, update uh, from beautiful and peaceful Costa Rica. I was hoping to do it live because of technical issues. I need to do it through video, but that's okay. Thank you for being here today. And uh, if you're an indie artist, part of the launch strategy, uh, pay close attention. If you're a platinum music lover, a platinum chartered member as well, you know who you are. Um, again, um, pay close attention to the announcement. It's, um, we're going to talk about all the good stuff up to this point. We're going to talk about where we're at, where we need to be. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the um, adversity as a growth organization that uh, we are going to transform into opportunity. That's really, really important. Now, um, how we got here, I, I mean, how we got to this point, first of all, it's with the vision of having a higher standard. Yes, and we thank you because you are all contributors, the indie artists, the music lovers who are participating and promote the music.com uh, pre-launch strategy have helped us to elevate our game. And um, there's, a, there's a lot of people to recognize here. First of all, the music lovers, of course, the indie artists who have submitted their music for our Saturday HD webcast. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm getting a lot of music, hard to keep up to, so be patient with me on that. Um, of course, our loving chartered indie artists who saw the vision, who took action, who've been approved. Thank you. You know you are. Uh, we have amazing promoters who have believed and promote the music before we even launch. And, uh, and I will uh, talk about some people like Head Boss. Thank you so much. Um, the, the, the entire team at Wolf Entertainment in Australia in the, the U.S. division. Our, uh, our loving Jazzy Harris, our Facebook group administrator, she's doing amazing work. Thank you. Uh, our contest sponsor, um, because we've been giving away some beautiful prizes on every webcast, and that's, a, you know, in, in collaboration with the indie artists, thank you for submitting the prizes and making the music lovers extremely happy on our Saturday webcast. But um, that all began with our, our, um, our sponsor, smoothjazzspot.com. Our good friend Ken Levinson, it was his idea, so thank you, Ken. And then, of course, our official launch sponsor, Wolf Entertainment, uh, Helmut Wolf from Australia, who's been extremely supportive of uh, where we're going with the entire idea. And um, also, uh, locally, the, uh, we have some sponsors, Netsis uh, Internet uh, Provider here in Costa Rica. Without them, uh, we couldn't do what we're doing. And yeah, of course, we had a little bit of adversity there. But they're always quick at rectifying the problem. Uh, support behind the scene, the entire ownership team at Milusos International. Um, they, uh, without them, um, a lot of the things would not have happened up to this point. Um, we have some incredible friends. I have some personal friends who have been instrumental in, in getting us to this point. Uh, friends from the Philippines, from the U.S., and from Canada who provided seed capital. Yes, we're, uh, we're, we haven't even launched, so it requires seed capital. So you know who you are. Thank you so much for believing, and thank you for your patience in um, how we're executing the plan. Um, I'd like to thank my spiritual mentors, my business advisors, um, incredible people. Um, you know who you are again. And uh, some technical support. Without technical support, oh my goodness, are we in trouble. So a big shout out to Dave Merton in uh, Wisconsin. And Dave has been uh, battling with his health over the last couple of months. So let's send Dave a lot of love. Um, and uh, because uh, we need him. We need you, Dave. The world needs you. And uh, locally here, Fabio Quiros. Um, in Costa Rica, a, a new connection I made in the last uh, six months who's been incredibly helpful in helping us with uh, our technical issues locally. So, and believe you me, we have a lot. Now, a lot of great stuff has happened since September 24th, since our ori original HD webcast. And, uh, you know, it's a trial period all to this point. Course adjusting, fine tuning, and um, but we've had some great things happen. For example, Keely Minucci submitted a, an unreleased track exclusively at PromoteTheMusic.com, a track uh, that we played, Ocean Deep, and you know that that tells us a lot of things uh, about where we're going. When when you have the Keelys of the world, when we have the Gino Goss who who does an official launch of his track Night in Rio and the official launch of his video, and incidentally that video, as of this morning, I was checking stats. Um, are sitting at about 44,000 views in the first month. Very encouraging, and we thank you for that. We had Sean O'Brien Smith um, launch his KM's Groove official world launch on Promote the Music. We had Sydney Barnes uh, launch his Living in a Dream, uh, Living in a Digital World um, mini EP. So uh, extremely um, delighted with the support and the quality and the soulful energy um, that's coming our way. So uh, very humbling. A um, lot of good words. If you go to gold.promotethemusic.com, you're going to see that uh, we've had 
we've had a lot of favorable comments, and um, and we can't post them all. We can't keep up. But we thank you for that. Accomplishment up to date since our original um, webcast September 24th, well, first of all, we were able to webcast in high definition, which uh, it may seem like nothing, but it's, it's not easy, folks, and um, creating a higher standard, it all, it all began with a vision back in July when internet wasn't even um, here to, to, to be able to do HD, but you know, we, we started with a logo, and um, I'm really happy with the logo of Promote the Music, and that was the... Uh, uh, the work of Marc Andre Assinoui out of Montreal. Thank you, Marc, for pouring your soul into making that logo as beautiful as it is, uh, starting with that vision of high quality, uh, maintaining a high standard for where we're going. Very, very important to, from a marketing perspective. Uh, again, net, without Netsys, the high, band, uh, hand, high bandwidth, um, we can't do what we're doing. So I'm very grateful for, for the entire management team, ownership team here in Costa Rica. Uh, we, we've been able to purchase new HD cameras. Makes a world of difference. You know, you can have the bandwidth, the computers, the software, but uh, so we upgraded to HD camera, we updated the webcasting software, uh, we upgraded uh, recently uh, webcasting computers, and um, uh, some of the other accomplishments that I'm really happy about in pre-launch is our, our group page at Facebook. Um, just tremendous energy, amazing artists. I just love the people we're meeting here, uh, from the music lover to the artists, and it's, it's just exciting. And um, so you can, if, if you're hearing this video on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet, um, group.promotethemusic.com by invitation only. You have to be approved. We do check out your profile on Facebook. We want to make sure that uh, you will... Um, fit the profile of the group beautifully. So um, all that, that's the positive stuff, all the great stuff. Uh, we do have to face the music today. Um, you know, you've heard of Murphy's Law. If anything's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong. So um, the, the first challenge we've had, it, 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 truthfully, is a lot of music has been sent our way for evaluation. It's hard to keep up, really hard to keep up. I like to follow up with, with the artists. It, it's, it's borderline impossible to, to, to do it rapidly now. So be patient with us as we're growing. Um, two weeks ago, our problems really began from a technical standpoint. Again, uh, Murphy showed up, but I, I think his entire family showed up. <laughs> the entire Murphy family showed up. Um, the video card, the high definition video card on our new webcasting tower was defective and uh, keeps crashing. And we're trying to replace it here and unfortunately the company uh, that sold us that tower here in, Co in Costa Rica are not very cooperative and they're not very quick at replacing it. So um, as we sit right now, um, you know, keep, keep looking at our post because um, you know, I can't webcast like we do on Saturday at 9 a.m. I hope to rectify the problem. We're working on it. Hopefully, we'll be webcasting uh, in the coming weeks again. But right now, even this coming Saturday, um, there will be no high-definition webcast. It's just impossible to get it done. Um, if you recall, we had a January 31st deadline um, uh, to, for the artists who want to become chartered members. That, uh, that deadline had to be... Um, Engraved in stone simply because uh, by February 4th, we had to test our system. We had to test our marketing system. Unfortunately, because of the technical issues of the last two weeks, I got sidetracked. I mean, I had to put my focus on working on solutions. So now, what I'm trying to tell you here and what I want to tell you is that it was impossible for me to meet the deadline of February 4th to, to, to set in motion the marketing system and quality assure it with our chartered members. So we're behind the eight ball. And this is linear. You know, if, you, if, if adversity hits you, for example, this, the space shuttle. The space shuttle, you know, has to launch on a certain window of opportunity based on weather patterns and how, the, you know, the energy field and the cosmos works, and I'm, I'm not too in tune with it. But I know that if they miss it, they have to sometime reschedule by weeks. You know, they just can't relaunch it. It's a safety factor. It's a... It's a phenomena. So um, what we're trying to do here is, um, and I, I'm seeing my microphone is sort of acting up, but hopefully we're fine. Um, we need to course adjust and uh, based on the technical issues of the last two weeks. Um, now, February 4th created the first problem. We missed that deadline. So uh, we can't do our tests. We can't quality assure on time. And, um, and even if we had all the technical well taken care of on time. Murphy finally uh, did it to me on Sunday afternoon. Uh, irrespective of all the technical issues, um, we have to rethink, and I have to announce today, 
that the official launch of PromoteTheMusic.com will not be on February 25th as we had planned it for the past several months, and here's why. Um, I've been here in Costa Rica nine and a half years. I've been living in this beautiful condo for nine and a half years. On Sunday, my loving landlord shows up, and uh, they're an elderly couple, and um, they live in an up-and-down type of condo. They have two condos. Um, they both had surgery, one back surgery a year ago. Um, uh, one of them had their knee surgery just recently, and they can no longer go up and down the stairs, so they came here and announced to me that they need to move into this condo. Well, they're not moving in with me. <laughs> so that leaves me uh, only one choice. Um, I have to relocate after all these years. So just the physical move that I have to endure and plan, uh, which is not easy. I have to find a place, and we're looking at two options, either rent or we're looking at purchasing a building now to expand, promote the music. So we're going we're gonna to take this lemon and squeeze it and make lemonade out of it for sure. But um, that alone will sidetrack me for probably a solid month till the end of March. So I'm thinking now that the official launch should be targeted for June the 2nd. And we got to keep flexible on that because whether we buy a property or whether we rent a property to actually get that in place um, is, could be very smooth and we hope it's going to be smooth, but it, it, it could stretch out to, to be a real inconvenience. So, so June the 2nd would be actually my, my two-year anniversary from the time I went full-time in the music business. I like that date. Um, I went full-time June 1st, 2010. So June 2nd is the new launch strategy, full-time uh, full activity behind Promote the Music. And, um, and this gives us a, a really nice opportunity for the indie artist, by the way. Uh, first of all, it's going to give us the opportunity to reassess all the music that's been sent to us and be very selective and pick the best of the indie artists. So we will extend, and, and I will announce it over the next few days, we will extend the, 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 a, a new deadline for artists to submit their music to be part of the, uh, to become a chartered member to be showcased on the official launch. So um, we've had 41 artists submit their music. Uh, we had 41 new artists submit their music. 14 have been approved. Um, we're going to open that window of opportunity because it gives us more time. See, it was all about time factor. Um, also, it's going to give us an opportunity to, uh, we've had indie artists ask us to produce videos for them like we did for Gino Goss for uh, Night in Rio. And, um, but those videos require time. It's like 30 to 40 hours of work to produce a video. Uh, not that we can uh, engage in a lot of that activity, but we have some charter members who want a video produced in time for the, for, for the launch. Well, if a June 2nd launch gives us a little time. Um, the other thing that, you know, the, the, the blessing in disguise in all of this is that we, um, we had artists that we've just discovered in the past few weeks who have missed the deadline and, um, or didn't even know about the launch strategy. And, um, and they're releasing new albums. They're releasing new CDs or new singles. And the, the completion date for them is late April, May. So now we can, we can bring them on board. We can promote them. We have charter artists who are we're rushing uh, in studio to finish some tracks in time for, for the February 25th launch. See, working under pressure doesn't allow us to keep a high standard. I truly believe that. So for these artists who are trying to rush to meet the deadline, they can relax now. They can be more creative. They can allow things to be in flow. Very, very important. So, and, and last but not, and, and not least, um, it'll give us more time to finish the system, to, to quality control. It's all about quality controlling the systems. And uh, we'll do that with our chartered members. Um, so that's basically um, the announcement of today. Uh, feel free to contact me by email. Uh, feel free to uh, visit with us at group.promotethemusic.com. And uh, so right now, the February 25th, the, sh the PTM shuttle launch has been rescheduled for June the 2nd because of all the reasons. And you know what? The universe is orderly. I'm okay with it. It is not life-threatening. It gives us better, bigger opportunities and real soon, when I can really announce what we're doing behind the scenes, as far as where we're going, uh, I hope to be able to announce that in, in the coming weeks, you're going to recognize how this delay has been such a blessing for all of us. Bobby D here, signing off from beautiful and peaceful Costa Rica. Thank you for your ongoing support. Thank you for your understanding. And, um, 
email me or private text me in Facebook if you have any questions, any concerns about this announcement, all right? Or how you can support it. We appreciate that. Thanks.